Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey, everybody. I'm here with a really cool little thing I want to show you here. I've uh, been doing this almost almost a decade. I don't think I did that And uh, never had a long hair before ever. We've been <laughs> probably around four, 450 puppies over the, over the course of that time. And uh, so over a decade, never, ever seen a long hair. I've never even seen a long hair blue either uh, on the internet. It's, it's extremely hard to find. Just wanted to be able to show you what they look like here because it might be another 10 years before we ever have them. The way the gene is, it's a recessive gene, and, and I mean, it's almost non existent. You can't even hardly find it anymore in a wine reiner, but uh, the reason why you hardly ever see them, the only way you can have a long hair born, both parents have to carry the gene. They don't necessarily have to, you know, have the long hair, but as long as they carry the gene, uh, genetically, the little r matches up with little r. There you go, and you got some long hair puppies. So if you uh, ever are in, in the hunt for long hair, you'll want to join one of Bentley's lists, but it's, it's going to be over the course of this year as we discover between our females and the ones that he breeds who who he will um, you know partner with, and we're going to have to find out who uh, besides Ellie has long hair gene as well. <laughs> 